English shorthand dictation number 248 dictation speed 160 words per minute ready start honorable speaker sir today i am here to speak on the demand for grant under the control of the ministry of road transport and highways it is a very important subject it is not a subject which can be neglected i fail to understand why there is so much escalation already there is an amount of rupees 65000 crore and you are asking for more what was the work done in the previous year how many kilometers of new roads are you going to construct this year this kind of clarity is not there in your statement to achieve 5 trillion dollar economy this road network plays a very important role i would like to say that the treasury benches are very proud in claiming themselves as the second largest in the world in terms of road coverage by covering 63 lakh kilometers of roads this is the second largest in the world there is no doubt about it the united states of america stands first now i would like to raise one more important point you cannot construct a road overnight it was the foundation of the successive congress governments our government had laid a strong foundation and that is why india is the second largest in terms of coverage of road networks covering 63 lakh kilometers according to your data germany is number 1 it is not my data the united states of america is number 14 we are standing at number 44 out of 160 countries there is no independent evaluation of the road quality look at the quality of roads it is pathetic but the amount of money being spent is huge it is no way near the expectation of the common man at this point of time i would like to mention one more important thing what is the road safety that we are having the expenditure on road safety is only 2% of the total budget on the other hand the united states of america is spending 6% of its budget on road safety due to these things a number of fatalities and road accidents are taking place the speed of vehicles has increased the number of vehicles has increased the quality of roads is very poor with no safety and precautionary measures being taken we are losing a lot of valuable lives so these things have to be considered very seriously by this government sir the unfortunate thing is that in my own parliamentary constituency one particular road is being laid for more than 10 years the contractor says he is not able to work as there is so much of cost escalation as i said earlier why is so much of money being given there is no clarity there is no white paper finally do you know what the contractors do they go into arbitration and they manage to get the award and demand rupees 100 crore or rupees 200 crore from the national highways authority of india instead of collecting penalty from the contractors the national highways authority of india is paying them so in this house i request the honorable minister to come up with a white paper on how many projects are being stalled like that how many contractors are being paid the arbitration fee and in how many projects the contractors have been changed in my constituency there is one overbridge project the feasibility report and everything of the project is complete till now we do not know where the project director is they are not responding in time when we approach them they tell us some stories and the project remains incomplete till date due to this many accidents have taken place sir india lives in villages the minimum requirement for a road to be a village road is that its width should be at least 7.5 meters but the width of our village roads is not more than 5.5 meters that is why in my constituency there are about 10 districts and there is zero proposal for construction of village roads sir i would like to raise some of the very important issues pertaining to the national highway project which is going on in my state the pace of the work is very slow and it will be extremely difficult to complete such an important project on time during a recent visit to my parliamentary constituency local people raised many grievances and demands with respect to this construction work which i would like to present in this august house 
the construction work led to change in the orientation of national highway in many parts of the stretch and therefore the local roads have been completely disconnected from the national highway due to which the general people are suffering a lot their accessibility has been hampered the other major issue is the compensation provided for land acquisition to the affected parties roads are the lifeline in the hills but the national highway projects across the state have brought misery to thousands of people who have been uprooted from their places and have lost their livelihood for compensation only the circle rate has been taken into consideration and not the market rate other factors like commercial viability and productivity have not been taken into account while working out the compensation roads remain the main mode of transport in my state as there is no air connectivity or rail line as such so people of my state depend on the roads hence this should be given priority the geography of my state presents constant challenge to the development of transport infrastructure nevertheless the state has made significant progress in road connectivity in the last few decades thanks to the congress governments however frequent traffic jams and blockades due to national highway construction work have impacted the tourism badly indiscriminate cutting of hills for road projects has become a bane of tourism industry in my state the occupancy in hotels which was about 70% before the work started has come down to 20% stakeholders were not taken into confidence before planning and execution of these projects no alternative routes have been carved out even the existing routes are not maintained properly sir i happened to meet the honorable minister when he sanctioned a bypass road in my constituency due to some technical issues the work has not started as yet i request the honorable minister to get the work started immediately besides the laying of roads should be taken up as the highest priority it plays a pivotal role in the growth trajectory of the country at the same time the road safety measures should be taken up on a double priority by this government when you happen to see the death toll and the accident rate you will find that almost 11% of the world accidents are happening in our country so the government should seriously think on the road safety measures at the same time the government has to look into the standards of the vehicles and see whether the motor vehicles act is being implemented properly or not the government has to monitor its implementation continuously my main point is that the number of roads has apparently increased in the past decade at the same time the number of vehicles has also increased beyond the number of roads when it comes to violation of rules let me put one thing on record for the sake of youths of the country we are all educated and many of us violate traffic rules strict laws have to be formulated by the government of india and the ministry to curtail the accident rate i would like to make one suggestion here the insurance premium may be linked with traffic violations the insurance premium should be much higher for severe traffic violations for lesser traffic violations the insurance premium should be incentivized why can the government not plan it in such a way there are some officers who are below the standard i mentioned right now in this house about the dreadful junctions and the accidents happening there who is responsible for those accidents and who is responsible for the people who are killed brutally in the road accidents sir the national highways authority of india needs to prioritize its maintenance work on war footing for the benefit of public at large adequate steps should be taken to grant compensation for land acquisition as per the existing market rates the government may be directed to increase the pace of work so that the project is completed well within the time limit and directions may be given for proper maintenance and regular repairing of the roads to facilitate the commuters there should be proper debris management so as to preserve the environment and ecology public amenities should be developed along the roads to facilitate the commuters and tourists and to provide livelihood and generate employment for the local people 
adequate relief should be provided to the households who have been affected due to land acquisition and road construction work. These are some of the major issues. I would request the government to take notice of these issues and the work should be done at a faster pace so that it is completed very soon.